Developing for you this morning, we continue to follow a story here in Terre Haute. There's been another shooting following a weekend of violence in the city. News 10's Brittany Earl has been working this morning to find out all the information that she can, and she joins us now live from the scene with some new information for us. So, Brittany, what can you tell us? Ron Drell, I'm standing outside where a police action shooting happened this morning around 1 o'clock. We're just getting this information now, and I'm sharing to you, sharing it with you just minutes before I received it. Um, if you look over my shoulder here, it is much calmer than where it started this morning at 1 o'clock this morning, that is. The two houses over my shoulder here, you can see one with a big porch, the house next to it. That's where this all occurred. It started at 1 when a couple was in an argument out here in the street. It actually took place in the middle of the street. The man, the male, had a gun in his hand and there was an argument. During that time, a gun, a shot, a round, went through the lady's front door next door. She was inside with her kids. That's when she called police. Other people started calling police. The woman who was outside fighting with the man ran to the neighbor's front porch and asked for help, asked for them to call 911. That's when arguments and high, uh, feelings kind of escalated. And that's when the police action occurred inside that porch. Now, to kind of give us some more details and explain as to what happened, and I have here with me Sergeant Joe Watts with Indiana State Police. Joe, when an officer arrived on scene, they were inside that porch, and that's where everything kind of happened. Can you explain what happened? Yeah, the first Terrell police officer arrived on scene within two minutes of the initial call. He was alone when he arrived on the scene. He heard the argument in the porch at 2118. Uh, he felt he needed to go in at that time to protect life and liberty and so on and so forth. He entered that porch to, to serve others and protect. The suspect allegedly brandished a handgun at the officer. The officer told him multiple times uh, to put that handgun down. He refused, and uh, the Terrell police officer then um, engaged uh, a couple rounds into the suspect, and uh, he was taken to Union Hospital and then later airlifted in Indianapolis, believed to be in serious condition. And just to better explain for people, the people that live inside that house were inside that porch when the man with the gun came inside that porch, so at that time they felt threatened. They did, and they were not involved in this argument in any way, nor was at this particular time, we believe, was 21-22. So the argument on the street um, escalated into a residence, um, not at the request of the residents. They did not know the suspect, and that's when Terrell police arrived, and uh, the uh, suspect brandished a handgun and, and was ultimately shot by Terrell police department. And just to give a recap of the timeline, it was at 1 o'clock in the morning when the couple was fighting. The house next door was where the first incident happened. Yes, the first call came in at uh, 0058, two minutes before 1. The first police officer was on the scene at 1 o'clock within two minutes of the call. The 2122 address received a round through their front door. Um, they were not engaged in this fight in any way. They just received a round through the front door. That's what they called. Then the uh, fight from the street or the domestic disturbance then came on to 2118, um, and those people were calling the police. They were not engaged in this argument, uh, but the suspect must have felt or probably felt that they were engaged some somehow by calling the police. They anyway, entered that um, front porch in an argumentative way, in an intrusive way, forced his way in, and that's when he was confronted by the Terrell Police Department doing their job as, as, as they should. And we have a lot of rumors circulating. Is the officer okay? Has anyone else been shot? No, no one else uh, in, in, our, in other of these homes were injured. The Terrell Police Officer, um, you know, as a two-year veteran of the police department, will release his name at a later time. Uh, he was not injured. And we don't have an update on the man's condition who went to the hospital. We don't have an update now. We believe he's in serious condition. The initial uh, appearance was that he's probably going to survive these wounds, but he's from here in Terre Haute, and he's 25 years old. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate you staying out here with us late this morning or early this morning. Of course, we'll try to bring you more details as it becomes available and find out as to how this all happened and when it circulated. And, of course, you can go to our website at WTHITV.com. Reporting live in Terre Haute, I'm Brittany Earl, News 10. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Brittany. Very good information this morning. And, of course, as she just mentioned, you can check on WTHITV.com for more information as we follow this story throughout the day.